Another big challenge in basically making the lemonade stand was finding an auctioneer. We at first toyed with the idea of maybe using a voiceover actress and speeding up her voice and post, but ultimately we decided we really want to capture the authenticity of what an auction's really like. You know, obviously the script wasn't written by a bunch of guys who are well versed in the auctioneer world. So we felt like if we found an auctioneer that she'd be able to kind of tailor the script to where it would bring a level of legitimacy to it. We looked around LA, we couldn't find anyone we liked. Uh, Dave actually found Christy online. I came across one particular auctioneer who won a state championship in Missouri and was on a, a national TV show. I'm Christy Hatman, and I'm always in hot pursuit of high quality junk. Sold it right here, $775. She was amazing and reached out to her. She was so eager to do the project. I was first contacted by Dave Horowitz, who called me um, in Southern Missouri and said, hey, we're putting together a commercial um, and we need an auctioneer voiceover and this commercial might potentially be heard on the Super Bowl. Are you interested? And I'm thinking, who says no to that? It was amazing. The first time I spoke to Christy on the phone and she gave me an example of the phrases she would use, the chants she would use, and when she would talk so fast, it's just unbelievable. So on set, whenever Addison was speaking with the megaphone, I had to make sure that it covered her mouth so we can add Christy's voice later and the continuity still worked. So finally, when we completed the lock picture, we had to do the last thing, which was send it to Christy and get the actual perfect voiceover. Here she was 2,000 miles away in Missouri and we had to direct her in terms of what we wanted. So we sent her the script. She recommended some changes because there were certain words that when she was talking so fast it was really difficult to say and same with the numbers. The original script had a whole lot more words and descriptions than numbers and I recommended that they scale that back um, because auctioneers usually work with numbers. So uh, we came up with a script that was good logical increments, which was 10, 15, 20, 25. She had some great ideas about adding some phrases like the cute puppy dog or the shopper chicks, things that a seven-year-old girl would say. So we recorded my voice in Missouri. I emailed it back to California. Um, they put it together with the video and I thought they did an outstanding job cutting and editing the footage because the timing is so spot on. When you're doing an auction, there's a lot going on. So you're all over the place. Yep, I got up at 10, got up at 15, now 20, now I got up at 30. Christy had to use a couple of uh, descriptions in there you know, was a challenge for her, but ultimately I thought it lended uh, some humor to the actual bidding. As I was doing the voiceover work in the studio, I saw number 84 running down the street. I just kind of channeled John Madden and I said, wide receiver going long. So that was my little impromptu addition to the script. And I think it's pretty clever. So when we first found out that we were semi-finalists, I had the pleasure of calling all the cast and crew to congratulate them that we got to the next round. We'd been waiting about a week so the tension and stress levels of certain people were higher than, than normal. And so I called Christy and I said, Christy, and I knew by the tone right then, I knew what he was gonna say. And I had been tensed up and nervous and I knew he was gonna say, we're in, and he did. And so on the other end of the line, I heard this blood curdling scream. I didn't know if she got into a car accident or if she was okay. Um, but finally, after about 20 seconds, uh, she came back on the line and, and was, uh, you know, screaming in joy and not terror. 